Hi, I'm Jill Oldham. I am an assistant principal here at Rockdale Career Academy, and I also am the director for the non-traditional camps that we run here during our break periods. Um, this time, one of our camp offerings was Girls Experiencing Automotive Technology. And it's a four-day, high-interest, high-impact, high-energy exploration program for girls currently enrolled in grades seven through nine who would like to explore automotive tech as a possible career and who are demonstrating successful academic achievement in the areas of science, technology, engineering, and math STEM courses. What we're looking at today is going to be dash indicator lights, learning to identify, even though we're not quite to the age of being able to drive, but we're going to look at you know what we'll be looking at the first time from sitting in the driver's seat as a technician and as a, an individual. So they're learning what's what the lights would mean and what to look for and be able to identify for safety or if a vehicle needs service. Our campers in this course are investigating various automotive fields. They'll meet a woman auto tech, participate in hands-on activities, design projects, discover that auto tech can be an exciting career for women and have a great time learning and meeting new friends. Architecture is one of the non-traditional areas. So we offered this camp in, for girls studying architectural design and what we've looked at each day is a different uh, career area, whether it's been architect, landscape architect, interior designer, engineer, mechanical, electrical, civil, construction management, that type of thing. elementary we have a Hawaiian course. Um, students are going to culminate the week with a Hawaiian luau and parents have been bringing in food and they ha have a dance prepared and uh, just share what they've done this week. I'm Alex Alvarez, Academic Rigor Coordinator for Rockdale County Public Schools and uh, this time for our winter enrichment camp we have 151 students here this week running a class for second through fifth grade and then we have two middle school classes where students chose the course they wanted and uh, we just left one of our cooking up culture classes which is our middle school group it's very popular we have students repeating for our fall winter and summer um, enrichment camps and then we added a CSI course this time for middle school which had a uh, great response from the students we've had the crime scene unit we've had teachers from the district coming in doing DNA work today and electrophoresis um, and students making shoe molds, basically what they see on TV. Um, so a very exciting course. Oh, well, like we used it clay, and we used it rocks for these dogs, and we used popsicle sticks and hot glue, like to do this. And we like you made it our pictures, like draw all this stuff on this, and then we used like this roll. To do it. Third grade study in Alaska, and uh, I learned about the Iditarod, uh, making Alaskan um, crafts, a penguin, a sled, an igloo, um, so a lot of hands-on type things, and and the Alaskan frontier. And in fifth grade. They're doing a mass measurement mania course where they're measuring basically anything you can think of. Um, when they first came, they were a little bit apprehensive about being able to do fun activities with measurement. But since then, they have embraced the topic. Um, we have used uh, measurement to make a tie blanket where they have to measure the feet, you know, what by what, and then measure each inch each part of the tie blanket by the inches to, to um, cut up and tie. And we made pies and they were able to find the circumference, the radius and the diameter of a pie. So whenever you include food and things like that, they're always uh, interested in doing a little more.